right, so as you guys know, I've been looking forward to this game for quite a while. Uh, Lucidity, Six-Sided Nightmares. So, here you go. This is the glorious box from which it, it, it was delivered. Um, I love, this is the first time I've done the uh, Kickstarter backing where the box it was shipped in is customized to even tell us that our nightmare awaits within. Um, just a phenomenal job uh, all around uh, by the way that they did these. Uh, there was reports that, and this, this is similar here, there were reports that there was an issue with shipping with some people where they lost components because someone put a single piece of tape on the box, but it looks like mine was corrected before it was shipped, where they put a bigger piece, but that's the only piece they put on this side of the box, and I guess in some cases it broke. Um, but thank you for addressing that. Uh, to Shannon, who's been, who ran an amazing campaign and really kept up with uh, Quartermaster, and I think Quartermaster just bogged down with a lot of stuff. I believe Quartermaster Logistics was the one that uh, shipped this, um, but regardless, uh, Solid job, solid campaign. So give me one second, I'll be right back. I'm gonna get a knife um, to open this up. So. <laughs> All right, here we go, moment of truth. Uh, so let's go ahead and just, uh, we'll do a little cut up the top here. Oh, and I can see why this would cause things to fall out in other shipments. So I did, I did back the deluxe edition with the special ink, uh, drop dice. And these are the special bone dice. Oh, those look really phenomenal. Looks like little flecks of bone. Uh, we'll look, we'll look at those closer in a little bit. And these are the... I'm not sure if these are the special ink. They don't, yes they are. Yep, see, there's little swirls inside the dice. Uh, but these are special order. Um, during the campaign, he uh, Shannon thought that there would be, uh, the price didn't, didn't balance out to what he expected. So he had to pay extra for these dice, but I think it's gonna be worth it. I think they're just awesome looking. And then I have extra because you guys know I have a toddler. So that, uh, <laughs> That could complicate things. Oh, ooh. Let's see. This is pretty cute. Use those as a dice tray. This budget dice tray, nice. Uh, so this is the deluxe box set. Shannon and Kelly, the uh, creator of the game. Uh, Lucidity, Six Sided Nightmares. Love the artwork. Love, you guys see the reflection of my above light here, so sorry for that. Um, let's go ahead, and it actually comes in a very, it's it this custom uh, wrapping. Another thing that's awesome is it has the standard and deluxe copy in the deluxe version of the game. So I'm going to go ahead and ever so gently, like a surgeon here, gingerly remove the, oh, let's do that. Okay. Again, this is without that, with the shrink wrap on it. Without the shrink wrap, look at that. I can't wait to see these cards. <laughs> All right, just one second. I don't have my stand set up here, so I, I'm doing this with one hand. Okay, so we have standard edition. Very good, very, very nice. And the deluxe edition. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and peel off the 
wrapping here. Boop a doop a doo. Ba -ba -da -ba. Look at that. That looks amazing. One who must, one who fights with monsters must be careful lest the, uh, they thereby become a monster. Stare too long into the abyss and the abyss begins to stare into you. Frederick Nietzsche, Nietzsche. Beyond Good and Evil. Look at that. It just, it looks like a flat black. It comes, it pops a little bit more when you're looking at it through a camera here. But, um, I've been looking so forward to this game. Uh, look at that. Great artwork. Um, and then I will open up the standard one as well. Try to anyway. Doo -doo -doo. I'm sure you guys are cringing when I put the knife toward toward the box with one hand here, and I apologize. Uh, this is also available through Renegade uh, Games stateside. So uh, in the US, you could, you'll be able to purchase this now uh, wherever Renegade Games are sold. Local game stores, some retailers. Uh, <clears throat> just take a look though. And that's, you're looking at this standard edition. Renegade actually ran, I, think, I believe, a different production run than what you see here. Um, they had their own uh, line for it, uh, producing it. So it's gonna. It might be a little bit different than what you see in the standard box here, um, but the basics will be pretty much the same. Uh, so yeah. So we'll take a look at the standard wood real quick. So FAQ and overlooked rules. I love how they did this right on the on the on the box itself. Uh, some errata. Uh, is placed on the on the box. Um, these are the, your core. This is your core rule book here. Look at that. The art is just so cool. Um, and we have oh, they, we got some uh, little art prints that came with the standard edition here uh, of the different nightmares. Oh, and there they are. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So these are the standard cards. That art. That art, though. And on the other side, um, you have uh, Lady of Envy. And I believe this is a different play style. I didn't, I don't know the rules on this, so I have to look into it, but I believe there's a solo variant, possibly. Um, and you'll see, I think, on the back of most of these cards, uh, there's these things called spooks. And you have... The different the Lord of the Depths, Lady of Prime Real Fear, Lord of Imprisonment. Um, so the cards are actually pretty cool. I, I kind of expect them to be a little bit more card stockish, uh, but this is the standard edition. Um, they do have a pretty good, looks like a linen finish on them. Uh, a bit thin for a card, it's it, but it is like a card stock. Uh, there they they do have a lot of give. Um, so with time and a lot of plays this could wear down um I, I surmise these can wear down pretty pretty easily um and then you have all of your dice Ooh. Uh, for the standard and these little teardrop these little glass orbs uh for your your card to, to mark where your which sleep track you're going to be using uh, nice little bag in the standard edition nice little baggy bag it's a hunt symbol uh, for primeval fear. And the different nightmare cards. So let me see. And it looks like uh, info cards. So there you go. That is your standard edition game. I can have a lot of extra dice. Because I believe uh, both editions come with the all the dice you need. Uh, and uh, ba, 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 ba. And uh, <clears throat> I also have the extra ones that have the ink ink drop in them. So looking pretty good there. Again, that was the standard edition. 
And then we move on to... <laughs> uh, so Deluxe. No errata in the Deluxe, but it appears that there is possibly... Ah, read pages one and two before playing. Uh, there are two boxes with the Deluxe version. This box contains all the additional content, expansions, and premium components. The other box can stay. Oh, okay, so these are the. Com this is the extra stuff. I thought maybe there was extra dice, but this is this box contains all of the flash, all the extra stuff from Deluxe. Um, so very cool right here. Instead of cards, and this is the children's art, so the kid style art. Um, this are this is actually it's a play mat instead of a card. It's a play mat. Um, so you can use this play mat to track instead of that card, and it helps with wear and tear on the game because obviously these will last a little bit longer. Again, these are the, this is the kid uh, nightmare versions, so not as grotesque. Um, and I'll be really uh, these so cool. So these are these are your play mats here, and look, even the standard play mat. Standard game play mat right there. And, and, check this out. You place this on top of your play mat, or your card, your choice, however you want to play the game. You place this here, and look, there is a place for you to put all of your dice. Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. Right in there. And it will hold the dice. The blood dice I actually held back. Um, I had an option. I could have had them send me my blood dice uh, earlier and get my game a little bit earlier, but um, when they printed, when they created these, uh, the manufacturer actually had the sizing a little bit wrong, so they did not fit inside, but now these are the ones that will fit inside, right inside. Uh, so I had to wait a little bit longer to get the game, but I think it's worth it. Again, look at those bone dice. <laughs> oh man. Uh, so anyway, um, we have our other uh, player cards that are all neoprene play mats. And we have in here, uh, there's a few extra dice, so I'll have to look into that. Um, additional bone dice in here. So this, I'll have to check, but this might, these might have been the original bone dice run, and they might have shipped these separately. So I might just have extra bone dice that are too big to fit. Yep. I think those are the ones that are too big to fit inside the, the squares. Um, but cool that they still included them. Uh, here are Dreamscapes. Again, I have to read into this because I didn't see that in the rules. I think that this is an expansion that allows you to um, add more play to the game where rather than just placing dice you can play these against other players or play them on your own turn to uh, buff uh, or nerf some uh, skill or ability <clears throat> and then we have the deluxe oh these are the kid yeah these are the kid version uh, of the of the nightmares so my son, when he gets into playing these games, you know, I can play with these instead of like people's face being ripped off. And <laughs> uh, hold on one second, I can open this bag, and we can take a look at some of these cards. So this is the uh, Nightmare Prim Primeval Evil, Primeval Fear rather, uh, Nightmare of Imprisonment, which is great. Look at that art; that's so cute. <laughs> Um, and the kid version of Envy. <laughs> um, the kid version of The Depths. Oh, yeah. That, that'll freak you out right there, right? Um, Temptation. And this one is not the kid version, but this is the Bone Hunter, which is... A different nightmare than the standard ones. It's an extra one, special to Kickstarter backers. Um, and players agree on how many Bone Hunter dreams they will add, wish to add to the bag. Sometimes predators. So you can see there's two hunts. The the point value is two or four, which is much higher than the standard ones. And then those eyeballs are actually pretty cool too. Um, 
So yeah, it looks like the Bone Hunter is not something you become. It's just an extra nightmare to have to avoid. Um, so pretty awesome. Uh, so there you go. There you have it. Um, this is within the deluxe box. Like I said, is the extras. So a few extra dice. Um, your the bone dice that were too big during manufacturing, um, and uh, all the kid variants, all the neoprene player cards, uh, the expansion, which is the Dreamscape expansion, which adds more playability to the game. Um, and yeah, there you go. There you have it. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'll cut into these and and uh, get the get the game packaged and cleaned up for myself. Um, let me see if I can pop open these. I do want to show you these without being in the bag. So give me one second. So I grabbed a handful of them, different samples, but you could see how the ink drop dice is different than the solid color. So there's the depth, there's one of the depth dice, there's an envy dice there. I'll hold up to the light too, maybe you could get a, a better read on it. Lecture, natural light's better. There's envy. Uh, let's see, this is Primeval Fear. Oh yeah, you could definitely see the ink. Looks like blood. <laughs> so cool. Um, and that's all I got. I got Depth, Envy, and Primeval Fear out of there. Uh, but yeah, so there you go. And each one's unique. You couldn't really tell, like if I just hold it in my hand, you couldn't really tell in the bag. Um, the way it was angled, but now that you're moving, I'm moving around my hand, you guys can see the difference in the ink drop dice. Um, and then I'll take I'll take one of the bone dice out. You can see the flex of the bone dice, the bone hunter dice. So there's that is the bone hunter dice. I'll hold it up to natural light. Doesn't nothing really passes through, so we'll just look at the flex of bone. Inside of that. <laughs> How cool is that? Look at that. Very well painted, very well finished dice. Look at that. The uh, thumbs up, big thumbs up to Shannon and and the rest of his, whoever helped him in in the process. And if he did it himself, I mean, mega kudos. Um, but. Uh, congratulations on the successful Kickstarter. Uh, the game is looks phenomenal. I can't wait to play the new version stuff of it. Um, thank you again uh, for putting this game together, and uh, I can't wait. Can't wait to play with the, with our playgroup. So that was loose. That's Lucidity Six Side Nightmares. Uh, thank you guys very much.